deformers in the context of mesh machine are support objects, used to improve the quality of plug deformation on curved surfaces. Generally, more complex plugs, or plugs with detail above or below the surface level, often require a deformer. But simple plugs can also benefit from them. So it's not a bad idea, to always supply a deformer when you create a plug. I'm gonna modify this plug from earlier and add a fillet to the bottom. If we plug this, we will almost certainly produce distortion. As you can see, this is unacceptable. Shading issues caused by uneven deformation, and even overlapping geometry. So let's turn this into a deformer plug. Select the handle and duplicate it. Go into edit mode and move all polygons down, just below the plug mesh. Then extrude up, just above it. Confirm that the entire plug is contained by the deformer. If not, move parts of the deformer out to ensure it. With the object still selected, run the set plug properties tool, and change handle to deformer. This tool can also be used to debug individual plug components. Finally, parent the deformer to the handle. Remember, the handle has to be the root object. Select the handle and run the validate plug tool. It correctly found the deformer. You can use this tool passively and just escape out of it, when you've checked its output. But you can also press the OK button, in which case it will execute the actions, enabled at the bottom. In this case, I want to generate a new UUID, as the plug was built from an existing one. I'm also unchecking the option to hide support objects. Hiding support objects is useful to do before adding a plug to a library, but I intend to duplicate the entire plug next, and so don't want any components hidden. If I plug this now, you can see how the issue is still present, but the redo panel reveals the use deformer option. Enable it, and the distortions are gone. There's also a plug precision value. 4 is a good default, but many plugs work with a lower value, while others may need a higher one. Higher values will be increasingly slower. You should never go over 5, as 6 and 7 may grind Blender to a halt. 3 seems to be the smallest one that works here. So I'm setting it as the default value for the plug mesh. I validate the plug again, and this time I choose to hide support objects. I then add the plug to a library. The plug thumbnail has a black deformer indicator in the bottom right corner. This example plug has a white one. Instead of hiding support objects, the validate plug tool can also be used to do the opposite. Selectively unhide all a plug's support objects. The white deformer icon tells us that the use deformer property is true for this plug. And that just means, that it will automatically be enabled if you plug it. Things go crazy without a deformer, so it was a good decision to enable deformer use for this plug by default. This array plug has a minimum precision value of 5, which is not uncommon for array plugs, especially with increasing length. And finally, with this array subset plug, if subset deformation is enabled, a separate subset precision value is exposed. It can be set in the same way as the precision value for the plug mesh. <laughs> 